طيب بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه ومن والاه اي لايك تو ويلكم يو اول تو ذا سكند ليكشر اوف ويك 13 اوف اي سي اس 104 طيب اني كويستشنز يا شباب بيفور وي بروسيد ريجاردينغ ذا كويز تو مور انا اي دينت هاف ا تشانس تو Uh, to post um, an announcement, but uh, as you all know, it will be on uh, um, uh, files, exceptions, and uh, classes. Uh, files and exceptions, and uh, and the classes. Now, uh, quiz or not? Hey, the quiz. Hala, if if tomorrow was Ramadan, uh, it will be at 10 p.m. And if not, it will be, uh, 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 regularly at uh, 7 p.m. اوكي يا شباب ان شاء الله ال ال ميك ال نو بكره لي كوز كيف بكره لي كوز بكره نعم بس دكتور كيف ما عندي كذا ما عليك امر تخلي بعد يومين كذا يعني الاربعاء انا في عندي كوز لماده ثانيه اه تمام دكتور اسمع ليش الاسبوع الماضي لما قلت لنا قلت لنا انه بس الفايلز عند اكسبشنز فهل ممكن يبقى بس فايز اكس انت على هيك على هيك قلت لكم والله اي والله احنا جهزنا على اساس كذا بس اذا ما يمدي عادي خلاص ولا يهم فايز انا كذا الله يعطيك العافيه الله يعافيك يلا منيح اللي استشرتكم قبل ما نحط الاناونسمنت كنتوا تورطتوا بالكلاسز كمان طيب اي شيء ثاني يا شباب بيفور وي بروسيد يعطيك العافيه الله يعافيك طيب طيب Okay, so let me then uh, let me share the screen. Okay, so this is basically where we stopped uh, uh, <laughs> last Tuesday, huh? <laughs> Yesterday, this is what we um, this is where we stopped. Uh, uh, we looked at the for loop and we saw, you know, the main difference between uh, 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 both for loops. Uh, the, the way the for loop works in C is kind of similar to uh, a while loop, right? It's kind of similar to a while loop. It's totally different from Python's, uh, uh, Python's for loop. So uh, as, as we have seen before, you know, the for loop in C has three control components. In addition to the loop body, uh, for example, in our case, this was the loop body. It was only a single statement. There was no need to put it between uh, to put it between braces. So, so there are uh, three control components. The first one is initialization of the loop control variable, and usually, and with, not not usually, but this is basically in the first uh, in the first statement between the brackets. This statement is the initialization. Statement. Of course, you can also put any number of statements here. By the way, uh, however, the the semantic of the for loop is such that that this will be executed only once when we first you know uh, start executing the for loop. It will be executed only once. Okay, so that's the initialization. Then we have the testing of the loop repetition condition, and this is the second one. So this should this is basically. Uh, uh, the second statement. Uh, this will be tested, you know, in the beginning. After we do the initialization, uh, uh, we will uh, check the condition. If it is a true, what we will do? We will basically execute the body. Right. And then after we execute the body, we come to changing or updating the loop control variable. And this is in the third, uh, uh, the third part or uh, the third uh, basically uh, uh, statement here uh, where you put the where you put the the update of your uh, uh, you know uh, loop variable okay the, the the update of your loop of your loop variable and uh, and then you know after this is updated uh, we go back and check the condition through execute the body do the update Check the condition. False, 
go outside the body of the of the for loop and we are done. OK, and we are and we are done. So the force, the for statement in C supplies a designated place for each of these three components, as we have seen, as we have seen uh, uh, earlier, right? Now, uh, for clarity, we usually place each expression of the four heading on a separate line. This is just for uh, clarity. As you see here, I put all of them in a, a single line because they are, you know, short and simple. Uh, and this is what, how we usually write, you know, for loops in C. Uh, we put them usually in a single line. But basically for, you know, uh, you know, uh, learning purposes, since this is the first time maybe we see this, uh, uh, the author uh, chose to put each one of them on a single line. OK, chose to put each one of them on on a single on a single line. Uh, uh, if all three expressions are very short, we may place them together on one line, as you have seen, uh, as you had seen in our previous example. OK, so this is another example. And in this example, uh, we basically uh, uh, enter the uh, uh, number of employees, and uh, uh, we—I uh, think we ran this example, صح? Have we seen this example before, ya shabab? No, just yesterday. We we saw it yesterday. Uh, uh, how, how was it? Uh, how was it implemented? It was implemented using the while loop, صح? Yeah, uh, was done to uh, the fault. So, so we saw exactly the same one. Yes, I think so. Oh, it was while. It was a while loop. Huh? It was a while loop. So the exact same thing, as you can see, can be uh, uh, can be implemented using a for loop. So uh, count employee equals zero while count is less than the number of employees. You know, uh, count uh, employee equal count employee plus one. This is basically we'll talk about it in in a few in uh, uh, in a few minutes. But this is basically exactly the same. Uh, it's exactly the same one. And as you can see, the, you know, uh, 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 which one do you think is is is, is nicer as an implementation? The for loop implementation or the while loop implementation? Which which one is you know easier to read? Uh, you will know immediately that you are going to run this for for example the number of employees. The four. The four, right? The four, and and usually this is what we do when when we do programming. When when uh, when we know you know that we are going to execute you know a certain uh, uh, you know uh, set of statements. Uh, for n number of times, whatever that n is, we usually use a for loop. Okay, we usually use a for loop. When do we use a while loop? When we are really not sure how many times are we going to 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 um, uh, to, to, to to execute the, uh, the body, and maybe be, because it depends really on a certain condition, you know, a condition that depends on, for example, input that is taken from the from the user, input that is taken from the user. In this case, it's much better to use a while loop than than a form. So just to, you know to uh, uh, for completeness, let me just take this code, control C and bring it here. Uh, control V. Uh, this is basically the code. If we run it, uh, you will see there is no difference at all uh, uh, between the two uh, uh, between the two codes. So uh, let's say if I enter again, uh, three and I will put 100 hours for ten dollars per hour. Uh, this is 1,000, and then I will put 200 hours, and let's say this is uh, 10.5. Uh, so we will have 2,100, and finally uh, 150 hours, and this is 12 dollars per hour. So so basically uh, uh, for the 12. Uh, then we will have 1800 as the pay, uh, which is 12 multiplied by 150. And then finally, all employees have been processed and the total uh, uh, the total salaries of all those employees is 4900. 
So it's it's it's, it's basically exactly uh, uh, it's exactly the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. Okay. Right. So let's uh, let's look at uh, some of the hanky panky. <laughs> um, uh, you know, uh, increment uh, statements uh, that C uh, uh, that C provides. Uh, uh, the for loop examples we have seen all include assignment expressions of the form. Well, we we all know this one: counter equal counter plus one. Huh? We all know counter equal counter plus one. Now, counter equal counter plus one is exactly the same as counter plus equal one. So when you do counter plus equal one, this is the same as counter equal counter plus one. When you do counter minus equal one, this will be counter equal counter minus one. OK, so it's kind of a shorthand uh, for uh, for this statement. Instead of writing it, you know, writing too many, you just write counter plus equal one. And by the way, this also uh, applies in Python. This also applies in Python. The last one. Uh, that does not apply in Python. Uh, it applies in C, which is if you just do counter and then plus plus. When you do counter plus plus, uh, uh, this is the same as counter equal counter plus one. Counter equal counter plus one. Now uh, this last one, this last one uh, has kind of uh, uh, a twist. Has kind of a twist. What is that twist for the last one? Well, uh, the increment operator uh, uh, plus plus uh, can be put after the variable or can be put before the variable. So the side effect of applying the plus plus operator is that the value of its operand is incremented by one. This is after we do the, the statement. But uh, uh, and and frequently the plus plus is used just for this side effect, you know, just to increment by one. Usually the plus plus uh, is, is 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 used for that, you know, as in the following loop in which the variable counter is run from zero up to limit. So usually when you say you know for counter equal zero, counter less than limit, and then counter plus plus. And and again this will also make the the uh, the lines short, sir. You don't have to write counter equal counter plus one. خلاص counter plus plus. So uh, and whether it is counter plus plus or plus plus counter, okay? Whether counter plus plus or plus plus counter. Of course, there is a difference between the two. Inshallah, we will uh, 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 mention them in the uh, next slide. أيوة في حد من الشباب كان بده شيء. Can you repeat what's the purpose of uh, counter plus plus? Uh, it's basically it's it's exactly it. it's exactly the same as this statement. Counter equal counter plus one. Kind of. Yani, 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 after you say counter plus plus, when you execute this statement, it will increase the value of the variable counter by one. Only by one. I cannot put any number after it. So no, you you know you cannot put any number uh, after it. If you want to increase by five, use the second one. Mm, okay. say, say counter plus equal five. In this case, yes. it will be counter equal counter plus five. Hello? Doctor? Naam. So the third method only works for double and integers? Uh, we usually use it for integers. Okay. To tell you the truth, I have never used it for double. We usually use it for integers. But we can check it. Hello. OK, we can check it. Tayyip. OK, Shabab. So so let's. Uh, uh, so let's see now. Uh, uh, what did I mean when I say, well, uh, there is a difference between putting the plus plus after the variable or before the variable. OK, the value of the expression in which the plus plus operator is used depends on the position of the operator. Now. Now, what, what are we talking about? We're not talking about the value of the variable after execution. Both of them, the value of the variable after execution will be one more. Whether you put it before or after. Huh? 
What we are talking about here is the value of the expression itself. Is the value of the expression itself. And in C, the assignment statement as an expression has a value. The assignment statement as an expression has has a value. The question is, what is that value? Well, when the plus plus is placed immediately in front of its operand, which is basically after the variable. Uh, no, in front of its operand means before the variable. When it is placed immediately in front of its operand. So we have plus plus and then we have the counter. OK, and this is basically called the prefix increment. The value of the expression. Is the variables value after increment. Is the value of the variable after incrementing. When the plus plus comes immediately after the operand. Which is called postfix uh, increment in which we will say counter and then plus plus. Counter and then plus plus. The expressions value will be the original value of the counter, not the one after addition. OK, so the expressions value in this case is the value of the variable before. It is increment. Before it is incremented, that's the difference between the two. OK, that's the difference. Between. So compare the action of the two code segments in the following figure, given an initial value of two in I. Given an initial value of two in I. So assume that I is equal to two. Assume that I is equal to is equal to two. Now, when I apply J equal plus plus I. J equal plus plus I. Now, after I execute this statement, I know that the value of I will be increased to three. Shufu ya shabab hina. Whether it is J equal plus plus I or J equal I plus plus. In both cases, the value of I after execution of the statement will be increased by one. The only issue is what is the value of this expression? What is the value of this expression? So when the plus plus. Precedes the operand. The value of the expression is the value after incrementing. So so I is equal to two after incrementing I. I becomes ish. Becomes a three. This is the result of this expression. The result of this expression is three. And that's why three will be assigned to variable J. And here you will see that it is it is a three. Whereas if I look at I plus plus here, what is the result of this expression? Well, the result of this expression is the value of I before incrementing. What is the value of I before incrementing? Well, the value of I before incrementing is two. So the result of this expression is is two, right? The result of this expression is two, and therefore two will be assigned to variable J. Two will be assigned to variable J. And as you can see, after we execute this statement, J will be equal to two and I will be equal to three. Wadah al ya shabab. So what is the implementation of this uh, complication? What, uh, what, what do you mean? What is the implementation? And why is there uh, two ways to increment? This will uh, result in this and the other one will result in that. Well, I ask the one who came up with the C language. Don't ask me. Well, I uh, to for for me and I usually use this one. I usually use this one and I usually do not do this. I do not I, I do not do things like that, except of course in exams when I put tricky, you know, multiple choice questions. Yeah, <laughs> I will do it. So you, you need to know it, OK? OK. Wadah shabab. Right. So uh, C also provides a decrement operator that can be used in either the prefix or the postfix position. 
So it's, it's, it's the same thing. Uh, C also provides, uh, just like we said plus plus, uh, we also have minus minus, right? We also have minus minus. Now, for example, uh, if the initial value of n is 4, if the initial value of n is 4, uh, what will be uh, printed as a result of these two statements? Let's see. Let's, let's go here. Uh, let us uh, do this. Let's just remove all these things. Okay. And let's define integer n. Okay. And then we will have um, uh, print f. Okay, what was uh, my statement? Uh, okay, so 3D percent uh, 3D and then minus minus n. And the second one is, is n. Okay. And let's assume that, um, let's assume that n is equal to, let's say, uh, 4, okay? Uh, what was, what was n in this case? Okay, so for example, if the initial value of n is 4, so this is what we did, hey, the initial value of n is 4. And if I have these two print if statements on the chat, what do you think is going to be printed? Uh, by the way, this one is only n like this. What is going to be printed? Yalla, shabab, on the chat. Yeah, Amjad, fi andi two print if statements, mish wahda. Okay, very good. Uh, well, طبعا انتبه محمد إنه ما في عندي backslash n لكن نسيت إنه في عندي 3D فراح راح يكون في في مسافة بينهم صح? But this was not really راح يكون في مسافة بينهم. طيب. لكن what I wanted to know is is it gonna be three three or is it gonna be four three? It cannot be يحسين three four. صح؟ It cannot be 3, 4. ليش؟ لأنه ال n uh, it will be decreased by 1 after I execute the statement the, the value of n is, de is, is decremented by 1. So it will never be, you know, uh, 3, 4. It, uh, we know for sure that the second print if uh, statement will print 3. Here the, the only thing is the first one. Is it going to print 3 or 4? 3. ليش؟ no, no, the signs just قبل the variable name. Because because the sign came before the variable, before the variable name. So if I run this, so if I run this, I have a. لأنه تعودنا نكتب بالPython نسينا إيش؟ نسينا semicolon. Okay. So when I do F9, you can see here that it is three three. Okay. You can see that it is. It is three, three, three. Fine. Right. So, so this will print uh, three, three. Uh, meaning, meaning, ya shabab. Why, why the output came like this? Because print statement here uh, does not uh, print new line. It does not print a new line, and uh, it has a three D. So we have th uh, uh, it is a three D and uh, an alignment uh, right or left. Right alignment with the spaces right. Uh, on the left. Right alignment with the spaces on the left. So since the three, so I will have one, two, three, and then I will have one, two, three. Oh. Yes, yes. Okay. Right. So now what happens if I do this? Well, in this case, what is the result of the expression n minus minus? It's the value of n before incrementing. So what will be printed? In this case, what will be printed? 
for three. What will be printed is basically four, four, three. واضح يا شباب? Is that clear? Okay. طيب. So let's uh, let's take an example. Um, uh, function factorial computes the factorial of an integer represented by the formal parameter n. Who 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 can tell me what is the definition of n factorial? How, how do you compute n factorial? If I told you five factorial, what do you do? We multiply five by four by three by two by one. Exactly. So so basically n factorial is n multiplied by n minus one multiplied by n minus two da 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 until we multiply it by until we multiply it by one. صح؟ طيب. The loop body executes uh, uh, for decreasing values of i from n down to two, and each value of i is inco incorporated in the accumulating in the accumulating product, and the loop exit occurs when i is equal to one. So this is basically the factorial. This is basically the factorial function. Okay, and you can see here, you know, int factorial and then int n, right? Uh, the initialization, the product is equal to one. This is, by the way, a local variable, right? Uh, I and product are local variables. So product is equal to one. And then we compute n times n minus one times n minus two. How do I compute that? You know, for i equal n, i greater than one, and then minus minus i. Is it going to be different if I said i minus minus? No. no. No, it will not be different. Because at any rate, uh, after I execute this statement, the value of i is decreased. Right? The value of i is decreased, and then I go and I check that, and I go and I check the condition. So, so the first time I, I enter the for loop, the, 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 the value of the product will be equal to what? The first time I enter the body of the what? You see the body of the for loop? Uh, by the way, do I have to have the, um, the, the curly braces? No. Uh, no. No, why not? Single statement. Because it's a single statement. Because it's a single statement. But anyways, it's good, you know, uh, it doesn't hurt to have the, it doesn't hurt to have the curly braces doesn't hurt to have the curly braces. So, so back to my question. When I execute uh, this for the first time, what will be the value of product? N. It will be N, صح? It will be N. And, uh, and then, and of course, يعني, uh, the way to trace these loops is exactly the same way that we did in Python. What do I have? I have two variables. I have I and product. خلص باجي I will put I here and I will put uh, I will put uh, product and please mind my uh, uh, handwriting because I'm, I'm, I'm writing with the mouse and I just uh, uh, see for example I equal N this is initialization this is executed the first time طيب will product before I enter uh, was equal to one so now when I entered for the first time since N uh, for example, let's say it was four. Uh, four was greater than one. Product equal product times four. So the 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 value of product in this case is going to be uh, uh, is is, is going to be four or basically n, huh? n. And then when I uh, and then what do I do? I decrease the value of i by one, so i becomes n minus one. And then if n minus one is greater than one, product equal product times i. So now the product will be product multiplied by i, which is n minus one. And I will repeat that until I multiply it by two the last time. Okay, the last time I multiply it by two. And of course, if you multiply by one, it's the same thing. So that's why it goes outside. It doesn't reach one. Right? And if if I had i greater than or equal to one, it's the same as i greater than one. It will give the same answer, which is the factorial. Any question? Right. Very good. So, um, so this is basically 
an example uh, uh, of you know the use of uh, uh, the function uh, factorial and you can see this is the function factorial uh, th th that you have seen earlier in the previous example and uh, uh, this is where I you know uh, call the function factorial okay so we have uh, print f scan f basically to get the value of x because I want to compute factorial x and this is the function called factorial x equals factorial of x right and I will print uh, the factorial of you know, x is equal to uh, factorial x. So let's see how does this uh, work. Uh, let's uh, copy paste to the online compiler. OK, and let me do F9. And let's say I want to find five factorial. OK, so the value of x is uh, the value of x is five. And you can see here the factorial of 5 is 120. 120. Fine. So, so let me go back. And I need somebody to tell me. I need somebody to tell me. Uh, here I have int factorial int n. Without anything. And then I have the main. And then I have, you know, int factorial int n, and this is the definition or the implementation of the factorial function. I think you should be able to answer this question. Why do you think we have this? Because the definition of factorial came after the definition of main. Mumtaz, isn't this the same as, you know, uh, uh, well, kind of similar to what uh, uh, has been done in Python. We cannot, you know, uh, we cannot use a function before it is at least defined, huh? before it is at least defined. So, so here, if we did not have this, if we did not have this, uh, uh, how does it know where is factorial? It will give a syntax error, okay? But here, this is what we call the function declaration or function prototype. You know, just like in C, before you use a variable, you have to declare it. Just like in C, before you use a variable, you have to declare it. Before you use a function, you have to declare it. Before you use a function, you have to declare it. Okay, let's see if you are right or not. The print f and the scan f, these are functions. Uh, where did I declare them? Built in. Built in where? Include. I, uh, stdio. Yeah. See, in hash, in stdio.h, you have all the definitions of the scan f, print f, whatever, uh, uh, whatever basically. Doctor. Now. Instead of the declaration of the factorial function, can mm -hmm. I put the definition of the factorial above main? Yes, yes. Like, yes, for example. Uh, let, let, let's go. Let's go here. Let's go here. So let's see what will happen if 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 I comment it. معلش عم استخدم في الكومنت هذا أسهل. Okay, أسرع. If if I do F9, see it gave a warning. Implicit declaration of function. It continued, but it gave a warning. صح? It gave it gave a warning. Okay. Uh, because it, it hasn't seen that function before, okay? Right. So now let me uh, let me bring uh, this definition of n factorial, this whole function. Let me bring it. Control X. I'll bring it here. Okay. So now the whole the definition of the factorial precedes uh, precedes me. Okay. Right. Namel F9. No warning. Okay. No warning. Wadah Shabab. Okay. Fine. Nested loops. So uh, how do we do nested loops in 
in C, well, in exactly similar way that we do nested loop in uh, in Python. Uh, of course, uh, with with have, having the differences يعني, in mind, uh, basically consists of an outer loop with one or more inner loops. Each time the outer loop is repeated, the inner loop is re-entered and executed. Okay, so so here, for example, you know, for i equal one, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus, and then for j equal one, j less than or equal to i, j plus plus, print f star, and then print f backslash n. So now. How do we execute? How do we execute the the nested if uh, for for loop? In, in, in a similar way, we you know uh, we trace the nested for loops in in, in Python. So I will ex I will start with i equal one. Okay, is one less than or equal to n? Yes. So I will go and execute this for loop. So so this means that I will execute this for loop until I go outside this for loop before I come back to the to the outer, to the outer for loop. So I will come here for j equal one, j less than or equal to i, i equal one. So I will print one star in the beginning. And then of course I will leave this and I will print backslash n. So I, I, I will go to the next line. So now when I go for i equal to, uh, j becomes from one and j less than or equal to two. So, so, so this will be repeated twice. So I will print two stars. And then, of course, I will go outside this for loop and, uh, you know, I will print the backslash n and basically I will continue. So it's exactly the same thing. Okay. It is exactly, it is exactly the same thing. If I, um, uh, if I run this in front of you, it's, I always forget that I have to do this. Okay, uh, uh, so so let's say if I say F9 and um, let's put the maximum number of stars is five. Okay, so you will see that, you know, uh, this uh, one star, two stars, three, four, and uh, five. So it's, it's, it's exactly the same. The same thing. You just need to be careful. You know, when you are tracing uh, nested uh, loops, uh, uh, you have to be careful. You know, uh, when, when you enter one for loop, and then make sure that you execute the second for loop until it finishes, and go back to where you uh, uh, to you know the, the the last value of the iterator of the outer loop. Uh, if 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 you do it the way we I I just did it where you keep the, the values of the indices. Like for example, in this case, what do you have? Uh, in this case, you have uh, I and J. Uh, in this case, you have I and J. All what you need to do is, you know, in the table, you just have I and, and, and J, and uh, basically, you know, keep the, uh, you know, uh, trace the value. Inshallah, if you do that, you will not make a mistake. Okay, so now we come to the last thing. Now we come to the last thing uh, that we would like to uh, to do here, which is the do while statement. Now this is something that we have not seen in Python, right? In in Python and in C so far, the for and the while statements evaluate the loop condition before the execution of the loop body. Okay, the, the, the thing here is before the execution of the loop body. But sometimes I would like to execute the body before the condition. Sometimes I would like to execute the body before the condition. Okay, the do while statement does exactly that. So the do while statement evaluates the loop condition after the execution of the loop body after the execution of the loop body. What is the syntax of the do while? Syntax is very simple. Uh, you basically put do, and then you put the statement, whether it is, if it's a single statement, you can just say statement, semicolon, and then the while, and then the, lo the loop repetition condition. Or if you have uh, uh, two or more statements, uh, you can say do, and then you put the curly bra bracket, 
and then you put your statements, and then you close the curly bracket, and then you say while and the loop repetition. While and the loop repetition. So, so and, and this is basically a nice example for the use of, of the do while. Uh, so, uh, so, okay, so do here, status equals scan F percent D, the ampersand and number, don't forget the ampersand, the shabab for the scan F, huh? ampersand and then the number and then while status greater than zero and number mod two is not equal to zero i'd like somebody to tell me what does what does this uh, uh, code do it basically repeats reading until what happens until the user enters the uh, until even greater than zero. And it, it will uh, it, even. Uh, See, if number mod two is not equal to zero, this means that the number is even with the odd. Odd equal to zero odd. means odd. Not equal to zero means odd. صح? Number mod two is not equal to zero means the number is, is odd. So this will repeat. This will repeat as long as, as long as, you know, I am reading input. That's why status, uh, uh, remember what was uh, the value of status here, Shabab? What was the number, uh, what was the value of status? Uh, the value returned by scan F. No. The value returned by scan F. No. Didn't we say that the value returned by scan F is basically the number of uh, uh, successfully read, you know, variable? Well, it is the number of successfully read variables. Maybe, maybe we haven't taken it. Maybe we will take it later. But, but basically, the scan F returns the number of successfully read variables. So as long as the number of success, uh, successfully read variables is greater than zero, and the number is odd, I want to keep reading. So I will keep reading until when am I going to go outside the loop? Uh, either if I was not successful in reading, maybe I put something, you know, uh, not correct, uh, or for example, not an integer or, uh, yeah, not, not an integer, or, or if the number that I enter is ish, is equal. So if, if we later print status, what will be the value? Uh, in this case, it will be one. Why is that? Uh, because it successfully read one value. OK, so so the interpretation here is that first the statement is executed, then the loop repetition condition is tested. And if it is true, the statement is uh, repeated. So if the condition is true, we repeat the body of the do while. We repeat the body of the do while if the condition is true, uh, uh, and we 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 retest the condition. Otherwise, if the condition is false, we basically go outside. Okay. So when this condition is tested and found to be false, the loop is exited, and the next statement after the do while is executed. Uh, note: if the loop body contains more than one statement, the group of statements must be surrounded by the curly braces. By the curly, the curly braces. Okay. Right. So uh, uh, let's look at this, uh, 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 you know, this application of the do while. This application of the do while. Uh, look at this code, and I need somebody to tell me what does this code do. Hi, Shabab. What does uh, this code do? As long do? as the uh, user inputs uh, Y or uh, capital Y, uh, the mm -hmm. program will continue until he enters something else. Uh, exactly. So, so basically, 
uh, I have a character variable called th, and uh, it is initially assigned yes. It's initially assigned yes. And then it will ask the user to enter, you know, should you uh, say yes again, or should you, uh, uh, basically, if you put uh, n or anything other than n, it will basically go outside, صح ولا لا? Because I don't yes. check, because yes. here I only check while ch is equal to small y, or ch is equal to, or ch is equal to capital, or ch is equal to capital Y. So, so if I do this, and I always, okay, so control V. So this is my code. This is my code. Now, if I run it, F9, repeat again. So as long as I put yes, it will basically print what I have, uh, what I have entered, and it will ask me, you know, repeat again. So if I put capital Y, it will print the capital Y and, you know, repeat again. So uh, we can keep doing that until, for example, I enter maybe L uh, and then, you know, the program finishes. And then the program, the program finishes. Now, if you want the uh, status, so let's, uh, let's say here, you know, uh, uh, status equals scan F. And let's not forget to define uh, the status. So let's say, you know, um, end status. Okay. And uh, let's print the character with status percent D. Okay. So this is th and status. Now, so that we don't see any unexpected result. Uh, let us um, uh, uh, let us initialize the status to zero. Ashraikum, let's initialize status to zero. So now, if I do F9, Y with the status zero. Okay. Now repeat again. Well, let me put capital Y. Y with the status one. Because I was able to read one one character. Huh? I was able to read one character. Uh, uh, and every time I read uh, a character, it will be uh, it will be basically one. And if I put enter now, I saw it, the programs uh, did not read. It did not read anything. Well, it did not read anything. It, it's still waiting. When I put the white space, uh, for some reason, it is still waiting. But yeah. So then when I put two, it basically. Uh, uh, so if, if, if I put Y again, I think it will it, it, it will continue. Huh? Let's see. So if I put F9. I put Y. What happened? Lost connection to server. I want more so we have seen now. Bye. أنا أحاول أفتح الويب سايت من الصباح مو راضي أفتح ما أدري إيش القصة. آه طيب هيو إت وركت. سو سو واي ود ستاتس 1 سو إف أي برنت واي أجين يا إت برنتد ذا واي أوكي فا إت سيمز إنه إت ويل إجنور ذا وايت سبيسز أوكي إت ويل إجنور إت ويل إجنور ذا وايت سبيسز أند إف أي بوت إن أوكي Okay, so what are the possible values for status? I don't, I don't uh, get the status. Uh, you don't get the status? So let's do this. Uh, scan, uh, let's do this. The scan F. Uh, let, let me, let, let me put two variables here. Uh, uh, character uh, CH and E. Okay, so this is th1. th2, th3. Okay. Uh, so let's put ch1 only. 
and here pH1, pH2 equals Z, pH3 equals W. Okay? pH1, pH2, pH3. Right. And let's keep this pH1. What do you think, yes, Shabab, will be uh, printed? What, uh, what will be the value of a status? Three. It should be three. If, if, if I was able to read three values, it should be three. OK, so if, if I say F9. And uh, now uh, repeat again, so now I need to put instead of one uh, value, uh, value I, only, I need to put the three values. So let's put uh, U, I, uh, Y. Balash you, and I want to 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 continue. Why, why, why? So why, why? Or capital Y. طبعا هذه حتى لو كانت Z ترى أو X it will not. فشايفين why with the status? Huh? Why didn't it affect the? لأنه لأنه I only check CH one. I don't check CH two. Ah, okay, okay, yes. So status is like a counter. Yeah, it's it's basically count. Count how many, you know, uh, 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 you, know, you know, how successful you were in reading those three. But let me try one other thing. Let me try to put, you know, Y or X and end of file. Now, I don't know how to put the end of file. Maybe uh, five will be, ah, oh, no, no. Control, um, is it control end maybe? Control end, control enter. I don't know. Maybe you change the, the type of uh, character three and the code, put it in integer, for example. <laughs> okay. Like, the, the, the second time, status will not increment, uh, increment by three. It will also uh, display the value three, right? Yes, because why does why should it increment? Why should it because increment? Because initially it, it, it has the value three. Yeah, uh, uh, it just read three uh, values successfully. So it, it will be three. That's it. Uh, okay. Okay. Yalla, yes, clear. Thank you. Thank you. Inshallah. Naam. Hal fi majal in the kuzi taajjal in the shwa hada fiha. فاينلات للاب مثلا بكره انا علي فاينل وعلي كوز والله بلاش لانه صادقين ما عندنا خبر من قبل يعني توك تنبهنا لا شلون توني انبهكم هي من الشباب هم ذكروني كنت حطيت لكم الكلاسز وشلناها من زمان من زمان لا ذكرناها طيب ما في على الاقل نخليها الربوع شيء الربوع قلت لكم يا شباب عندي كويز ماده ثانيه فخلص توكلوا على الله بنحاول نخفف عنكم الكويز ايش رايكم؟ والله يا ليت لان الاسبوع هذا قاتل الصديق فراح يكون فايلز واكسبشنز بس اوكي ان شاء الله فايلز واكسبشنز ان شاء الله الدكتور مقاطع الفايلز والاكسبشنز حقت اي اسبوع؟ العاشر؟ Uh, والله you, you need to check. Uh, ماني متأكد يعني بس هي chapter 7. اوكي تمام شكرا. الدكتور بيكون نفس عدد الأسئلة؟ يعني تقريبا. طيب دكتور أنا ما راح يتغير شيء يعني. أنا بوست الكلاس علق الجهاز فاضطريت إني أطفيه وأشغله. ما في مشكلة ما في مشكلة. تمام يعطيك العافية الله يعافيكم يلا نراكم على خير يا شباب السلام عليكم